I think we're live. So hi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, so today we are going to be talking about, we're going to be using your expertise in a time into my expertise. And we're going to be focusing on creating a Facebook group to market a, well, in my case, to market a course that I'm wanting to do. Yeah. So I personally really believe in, if you look at Facebook today, Facebook is not what it used to be. So when you're on Facebook, stop chasing after your business page. Start being more active on Facebook groups. This is the new thing for Facebook. Since the corona started, they're even promoting it much better than they promoting your business page. Because think about it, all they want you to do, the algorithm of all social media platform is make people to stay longer in my platform and I'll promote you more. And that's what I want to do. And that's why I really recommend for you to start using more and more Facebook groups, but not the type of groups that you're just going to put and try to sell. Because think about it, we all put something in it to sell, but how many of us are actually searching there for something? So, mm. and I, when I look at the Facebook groups, there's two ways to look at them. One is for you to engage and build your own community over there and become a guru. So okay. that's one. Okay. Yeah. So, so let me take it like this. So in, in my case, so I've done this course. I know we haven't introduced ourselves, but I'm assuming by this point it's actually fine. So I'm just going to go with that because we just went straight into this. Um, so I've got, I've created this course with somebody else in Germany, finding your purpose. We're going to do a half day Saturday, like a four hour as a, as a pre-course. And then we're going to do an eight week course, you know, following if people want to continue to follow that. So if you've got your personal page and then I've got my shift one degree business page. So this would be another group. Oh, um, I've lost Donna. Where did she go? Where did she go? Donna? Sorry, I don't know what happened. It was, it kicked me off. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've got it's the Bridget and I page, and then I've got the Shift One Degree page. So if I'm understanding you correctly, this is another group, which it's. But this is just a group. So it's not. It's not a business page, and it's not a personal page, but it's a group page around my course, finding your purpose. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so what I would do, there's two ways to do it. Um, there's one way to create a group on Facebook just to build a community. Okay. So it's going to be around a certain topic. Um, so for example, I have a group that I manage in Hebrew that we call it like one-on-one -on -one for self-employed. So this is the purpose of the group to help people that are self-employed and to give them tips and everything. So that's yeah. the topic around that. So you can take a topic, um, of your, the topic of your course and create a group around that and give there the information and build there the community. That's one way to do it. Another way to do so, it. Is so my, well, my question with that, so previously when we've spoken about this, if you want to promote something or you want to market something, um, I think you were saying like two weeks is enough time to create a bit promote. of movement, a bit of promote it. Yeah, interesting stuff. But my understanding with Facebook is that these, these things take time. Like it takes time to build the group or not. Is that different in this case? So I believe it depends on the purpose of the group, okay? If you're really trying to build a group under a topic that's going to be um, a community, that takes time. That mm. takes time. Okay, because every time you grow a bit and then you move for like 50 and hundreds and a few hundreds and like thousands. So that takes time to get it. And then there's a lot of activities that you can do in that group to make it grow. But mm -hmm. there's another type of group. So, for example, I've started now a private group. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm doing a five days challenge where I'm going to teach people how to share their brand story, how to actually tell it. If someone, by the way, want to join, I'll put the link up there. But that's a private group. That's just for the people that are going to come for that activity. And that's it. It's not going to be for other topics. It's going to be just for me giving five tasks and that's it. So for that type of group that I'm doing. What do you call the group? What is the name of the group? Is it under your Yes, yeah, so I called it Big Brander uh, Story Challenge. And that's okay. it. I'm the, name, good. the name of the group is the name of whatever it is. So mine would be finding a group. Okay. Yes. And you can even, like, it needs to be very short and easy yeah. for people to find, right? 
And then because I'm doing a private group that is just for the challenge, it's going to take me, I've put myself around a two weeks time to promote it, to bring the people there so I can start the activity. So for mm -hmm. that, I will recommend. But if you're trying to build a group um, that's going to be a community eventually, that's something you need to constant working on. Like I can say that on the, uh, on the groups that I'm working on, I'm working a few hours a day on being active, on thinking about ideas and thinking about like, what to do here, what type of panel, what type of whatever. And so, but that's what you need to do with Facebook. Okay, yeah. so what do you say in a situation like this, for someone like myself, where I have got very, 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 very little experience. Um, I mean, I've got the basic knowledge of Facebook, I think like most people do, but I definitely am not a guru and I'm definitely not an expert in that field. Would you say somebody like myself would be able to kind of set it up and then have you consult on the side or would you say someone like myself would be better having someone like yourself set it up for me and then explain to me how it works what would be your recommendation as a marketing strategist i think in the beginning because if you're new to this and you don't know how to do i would recommend to take someone to just guide you and advise you in building the foundation of that group um after that you can do it by yourself you don't really need it unless you are not that type of person that you very uh, maybe creative or things like this. Because when you have a manager on group, you really need to work in this. You really right. need to come up with ideas to come with. Um, and what the nice thing about these groups is that you can do it as a, as a team. So I don't manage, for example, the Israeli group. I don't manage it by myself. I manage it with another lady, and now we even got more people to the team just to help us because we want to have more information there, you know, we want to give more uh, more out there, to put more out there, more tips from a variety of things and not just to focus on marketing and design and things like that. So, so you build you, it up. Are you yeah. inviting people to the group or are people, is that, so you just randomly invite various people to the group and then, or do they, so how does that work? I'll invite some of my friends. They will invite some of the friends. Um, you can do different, you know, like adverts in the different group, invite people to your friends. If you're going for networking, for example, you can invite people to, you know, come join your group. Um, there's different ways to do it. You could also do like a promotion, like the one that's going to bring most people to the group will win like a consultancy, will win something. There's a lot of different ways to get it. Um, and but that's what we've done and we're able to grow it very fast. Like, but you really need to work on this. Mm. So when you say work on it, you're saying every day, for a few hours to be active on some level. Is that what you're saying? Or it's not like working like a five minutes, 10 minutes. You really need to work, I would say like around an hour at least, because you want to build the content for that group, right? You also want to bring people. So you need to advert. You need to be more active on the different groups. If I'm gonna start answering questions now in different groups, then people, and then I can drag people to bring it. I also use my Instagram and my other places to bring people to the group. You know, you try to bring them from wherever I can, you can, because you have so many marketing tools around you. You're using the different platforms. I'm pretty sure that most of the people that are watching us now, they are not only using um, Facebook to promote their business. I'm pretty sure they're using other stuff. So, for example, one of the tools that I'm going to use, I'm actually was planning to do today. Um, a TikTok video that that TikTok video will bring the people to the mm -hmm. challenge. So I'm going to use for this. I'm going to use the video on Instagram to promote the people, but I'm also going to share it on Facebook. So basically, I'm using one platform to bring from the other platforms as well and to get the people there. So that's the thing. If you need more than one platform, try to use it. Try to make it like happening and use the power of each other. And I think that's what people are missing out, you know, because yeah. I don't know if you don't have an Instagram for your business, right? No, and the reason I don't, and I mean, I'd love you, I'd love your input on this, but the reason, the reason that I don't is because in my case, everything is around uh, coaching. It's all around personal development. So yes, I can, there's maybe things to say, maybe there, there's quotes and things like that, but there's not like if I think of people that I know that are that are very active on Instagram, they invariably they've got a product, not a service. Am I completely wrong? Am I wrong? Completely wrong. Completely wrong. The, the amount of coaches. Wrong. 
Okay. The amount of coaches you have on Instagram is huge. And okay. the one thing I'm always saying that whatever your business is, try to understand who are you targeting and where are you going to find them? Your target audience, definitely in Instagram, by the way. Uh, and not for every business, and that's okay. But yeah. for a lot of businesses, you need to understand, and especially like also in coaching, if someone else is here doing coaching, for example, or consultancy, Instagram is nice because you can put like, you know, like quotes and different things and bring the people there. And that's something that's catching the eyes and coming fast and getting the people there. So that's, for example, for you, a great tool. And a, the nice thing about Instagram versus Facebook, that now let's say one of you is following me. It's not that easy for me to engage with you on a private note, right? Because I can send you a private message, but because we're not friends, most of us don't look at the others and see who takes at us and whatsoever. And in Instagram verses, you can actually do it. You send each and every one a private message. That's what I do. If you follow me on Instagram, you will get a message like saying like, hi, thank you for following me. And I've got my own tricks on how I do this stuff. Um, but that's how I'm starting to engage in having a conversation. And that's how you build relationship. And that's the purpose of social media. And that's why I can post in so many different groups and I can play so much with Instagram, but they won't block me as fast as they used to in the past. I actually haven't blocked for a while um, because they know that I keep on getting people to stay in the platform. I'm increasing my engagement. And if I look at your business, I would add Instagram, for example, to it. I would link the YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram accounts together to, you know, build something strong and build that community. And if you guys have some topic around your business that you really want to create a community, start with a Facebook group. You can make it public at first. If it's something that you share too much information there, Make it private, you know, make it, bring it to come there. And that's the thing. Like people want to be part of something. They want to feel that they belong to something. So I think if we're going to kind of round it all up, I think if people want to know more about, I know social media and managing social media accounts, I know it's not your big passion. I know that. So that's not, that's not what I'm um, sharing with people. But I think if people want to get things set up, and they are in a situation kind of like myself going, oh, I didn't realize that that was my right platform. Then maybe to have a consultation with you, have a chat, see what's possible. Maybe you could help them, you know, set it up um, on a, you know, one of fee or whatever, set it up for them and then they can manage it themselves. Like that could be a great option. So I think one of the things that I really believe in is that we all are usually a one man show. Mm -hmm. And you really need to learn and understand what you're doing. And you are the brand. And you have that story. And you have your own wording that you use. So that's why I really believe that people need to learn to use the social media the right way. Stop chasing after all the group that you just, you know, uh, posting your adverts. Let's be honest. Because most of us are really not looking there. We're not mm -hmm. even walking there and taking like, oh, wow, that's a nice advert. I'm going to come and join. But if you are engaging there, and that's what I'm trying to teach my clients all the time, just be there, be out there, engage, text. Even if it means that you do it 15 minutes in the morning, just before you go to bed, once you're here, like during the day, you need to be there. You know, people need to know you. That's how you're going to attract more business, more leads to your business. So I really yeah. recommend and that's what I do. I just really will guide you and consult you, and I'll teach you all my tricks that help me to grow all the time and how you can actually succeed in one platform and then move to the other. So for example, for you now, Facebook is getting to where you want to be. So now it's actually a great opportunity for your business to move to Instagram. Mm -hmm. But I really recommend for your business to be on Instagram. Okay. Okay, well, I'll thank you. Yeah, and then I can get some, hopefully I can get some, yeah, I'll get some tips and some stuff from you. And then on, on Friday, we're going to be talking about uh, some part of personal development. We will be, yeah. yeah. And as we said, like if someone want to go live with us, or even if you're shy and you just want to share with us your, you know, like the story behind you, what's your struggles with your business on a personal development side and on marketing, we're going to go live here and we're going to talk about your business. I'm going to give you the tips and all the things that you need to know on a personal development side and on marketing. So don't be shy, reach out to us because we really want to do it. And that's a great time for everyone to start sharing, you know, just put yourself out there, start sharing the information. 
don't forget, if people want to find, like everything I'm telling you now, you can find it on YouTube and on Google. So mm. why not Jerry, you know? Just yeah. give it out there. We're more than uh, welcome to, you're more than welcome to join us. And if you want to learn more about personal development, so Bridget is your person. <laughs> and she will share with us the course as well. And if you up for the challenge of doing a five days challenge on how to share your brand story, I'll put the link so you're more than welcome to join as well. So yeah. we're going to wish you an awesome week, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.